A magnetar is a type of neutron star believed to have an extremely powerful magnetic field. 10 13 minus 10 15 display style sim 10 carat 13 minus 10 carat 15 g 10 9 minus 10 11 display style sim 10 carat 9 minus 10 carat 11 t the magnetic field decay powers the emission of high energy electromagnetic radiation particularly x rays and gamma rays the theory regarding these objects was proposed by robert duncan and christopher thompson in 1992 but the first recorded burst of gamma rays thought to have been from a magnetar had been detected on march 5 1979 during the following decade, the magnetar hypothesis became widely accepted as a likely explanation for soft gamma repeaters SGRs and anomalous X-ray pulsars AXPs. Topic. Description Like other neutron stars, magnetars are around 20 km 12 miles in diameter and have a mass 2 to 3 times that of the Sun. The density of the interior of a magnetar is such that a tablespoon of its substance would have a mass of over 100 million tons. Magnetars are differentiated from other neutron stars by having even stronger magnetic fields, and by rotating comparatively quicker. Most neutron stars rotate once every 1 to 10 seconds, whereas magnetars rotate once in less than 1 second. A magnetar's magnetic field gives rise to very strong and characteristic bursts of X-rays and gamma rays. The active life of a magnetar is short. The strong magnetic fields decay after about 10,000 years, after which activity and strong X-ray emission cease. Given the number of magnetars observable today, one estimate puts the number of inactive magnetars in the Milky Way at 30 million or more. Starquakes triggered on the surface of the magnetar disturb the magnetic field which encompasses it, often leading to extremely powerful gamma ray flare emissions which have been recorded on Earth in 1979, 1998, and 2004. Topic: <laughs> Magnetic field Magnetars are characterized by their extremely powerful magnetic fields of 109 to 1011 T. These magnetic fields are hundreds of millions of times stronger than any man-made magnet, and quadrillions of times more powerful than the field surrounding Earth. Earth has a geomagnetic field of 30 to 60 microteslas, and a neodymium-based, rare Earth magnet has a field of about 1.25 tesla, with a magnetic energy density of 4.0 times 105 J per cubic meter. A magnetar's 1010 Tesla field, by contrast, has an energy density of 4.0 times 1025 J per cubic meter, with an E, C2 mass density more than 10,000 times that of lead. General relativity predicts significant spacetime bending effects due to these huge magnetic fields, but quantum considerations suggest otherwise. The magnetic field of a magnetar would be lethal even at a distance of 1,000 km due to the strong magnetic field distorting the electron clouds of the subject's constituent atoms, rendering the chemistry of life impossible. At a distance of halfway from Earth to the Moon, a magnetar could strip information from the magnetic stripes of all credit cards on Earth. As of 2010, they are the most powerful magnetic objects detected throughout the universe, as described in the February 2003 Scientific American cover story, remarkable things happen within a magnetic field of magnetar strength. X-ray photons readily split in two or merge. The vacuum itself is polarized, becoming strongly birefringent, like a calcite crystal. Atoms are deformed into long cylinders thinner than the quantum relativistic de Broglie wavelength of an electron. In a field of about 105 teslas atomic orbitals deform into rod shapes. At 1,010 teslas, a hydrogen atom becomes a spindle 200 times narrower than its normal diameter. Topic. Origins of magnetic fields The strong fields of magnetars are understood as resulting from a magnetohydrodynamic dynamo process in the turbulent, extremely dense conducting fluid that exists before the neutron star settles into its equilibrium configuration. 
These fields then persist due to persistent currents in a proton superconductor phase of matter that exists at an intermediate depth within the neutron star where neutrons predominate by mass. A similar magnetohydrodynamic dynamo process produces even more intense transient fields during coalescence of pairs of neutron stars. Topic. Formation When in a supernova, a star collapses to a neutron star, and its magnetic field increases dramatically in strength. Halving a linear dimension increases the magnetic field fourfold. Duncan and Thompson calculated that when the spin, temperature and magnetic field of a newly formed neutron star falls into the right ranges, a dynamo mechanism could act, converting heat and rotational energy into magnetic energy and increasing the magnetic field, normally an already enormous 108 teslas, to more than 1011 teslas or 1015 gauss. The result is a magnetar. It is estimated that about 1 in 10 supernova explosions results in a magnetar rather than a more standard neutron star or pulsar. Topic: 1979 discovery. On March 5, 1979, a few months after the successful dropping of satellites into the atmosphere of Venus, the two unmanned Soviet space probes, Venera 11 and 12, that were then drifting through the solar system were hit by a blast of gamma radiation at approximately 10.51 Eastern Standard Time. This contact raised the radiation readings on both the probes from a normal 100 counts per second to over 200,000 counts a second. In only a fraction of a millisecond, this burst of gamma rays quickly continued to spread. Eleven seconds later, Helios 2, a NASA probe, which was in orbit around the Sun, was saturated by the blast of radiation. It soon hit Venus, and the Pioneer Venus orbiter's detectors were overcome by the wave. Seconds later, Earth received the wave of radiation, where the powerful output of gamma rays inundated the detectors of three U.S. Department of Defense Vela satellites, the Soviet Prognos 7 satellite, and the Einstein Observatory. Just before the wave exited the solar system, the blast also hit the International Sun-Earth Explorer. This extremely powerful blast of gamma radiation constituted the strongest wave of extrasolar gamma rays ever detected. It was over 100 times more intense than any known previous extrasolar burst. Because gamma rays travel at the speed of light and the time of the pulse was recorded by several distant spacecraft as well as on Earth, the source of the gamma radiation could be calculated to an accuracy of about 2 arcseconds. The direction of the source corresponded with the remnants of a star that had gone supernova around 3000 BCE. It was in the Large Magellanic Cloud and the source was named SGR 0525-66. The event itself was named GRB 790305b, the first observed SGR megaflare. Topic. Recent discoveries On February 21, 2008, it was announced that NASA and researchers at McGill University had discovered a neutron star with the properties of a radio pulsar which emitted some magnetically powered bursts, like a magnetar. This suggests that magnetars are not merely a rare type of pulsar but may be a possibly reversible phase in the lives of some pulsars. On September 24, 2008, ESO announced what it ascertained was the first optically active magnetar candidate yet discovered, using ESO's very large telescope. The newly discovered object was designated SWIFT J195509 plus 261406. On September 1, 2014, ESA released news of a magnetar close to supernova remnant Kastevan 79. Astronomers from Europe and China discovered this magnetar, named 3XMMJ185246.6 plus 003317, in 2013 by looking at images that had been taken in 2008 and 2009. In 2013, a magnetar PSR J1745290 was discovered, which orbits the black hole in the Sagittarius A asterisk system. This object provides a valuable tool for studying the ionized interstellar medium toward the galactic center. In 2018, the result of the merger of two neutron stars was determined to be a hypermassive magnetar. Topic: Known magnetars. 
As of March 2016, 23 magnetars are known, with six more candidates awaiting confirmation. A full listing is given in the McGill SGR, AXP online catalog. Examples of known magnetars include SGR 0525-66, in the Large Magellanic Cloud, located about 163,000 light-years from Earth, the first found in 1979 SGR 1806-20, located 50,000 light-years from Earth on the far side of the Milky Way in the constellation of Sagittarius. SGR 1900 plus 14, located 20,000 light-years away in the constellation Aquila. After a long period of low emissions, significant bursts only in 1979 and 1993, it became active in May-August 1998, and a burst detected on August 27, 1998 was of sufficient power to force near Shoemaker to shut down to prevent damage and to saturate instruments on Beposix, Wind and RXTE. On May 29, 2008, NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope discovered a ring of matter around this magnetar. It is thought that this ring formed in the 1998 burst. SGR 0501 plus 4516 was discovered on the 22nd of August 2008. 1E 1048.1 1 minus 5937, located 9000 light years away in the constellation Carina. The original star, from which the magnetar formed, had a mass 30 to 40 times that of the Sun. As of September 2008, ESO reports identification of an object which it has initially identified as a magnetar, SWIFT J195509 plus 261406, originally identified by a gamma-ray burst, GRB070610. CXO J164710.2-455500, located in the massive galactic cluster Westland 1, which formed from a star with a mass in excess of 40 solar masses. Swift J1822.3 star 1606 discovered on 14 July 2011 by Italian and Spanish researchers of CSIC at Madrid and Catalonia. This magnetar contrary to provisions has a low external magnetic field, and it might be as young as half a million years. 3XMMJ185246.6 plus 003317 discovered by international team of astronomers, looking at data from ESA's XMM Newton X-ray telescope. Topic. Bright supernovae. Unusually bright supernovae are thought to result from the death of very large stars as pair instability supernovae or pulsational pair instability supernovae. However, recent research by astronomers has postulated that energy released from newly formed magnetars into the surrounding supernova remnants may be responsible for some of the brightest supernovae, such as SN2005 AP and SN2008S. See also Neutron star Soft gamma repeater Pulsar